Hi guys, fan cams. We've got Dave on the line. Dave, um, I know it's a point, but there's no no other positive at all to take out of that today, is there? Let's be fair. Uh, no. Two very similar teams. Um, they were perfectly matched. Mm. Uh, played exactly the same way. Cancelled each other out. And obviously they've had the, the winner in the season to give them a bit of a, a boost. But I don't know, uh, we're, we're really struggling. Really, really struggling. I mean, and I do fear for the worst after today's game. I really well, do. Well, with, with the rumours of get well, I don't think they're, they're more concrete anyway than, than anything these things about Struber going. I mean... We're in a mess, aren't we? <laughs> I think a mess is putting it nicely. It's um, it's a uh, it's a big pile of shit in it, really. It's, yeah, pretty much. We're, we're the poor, unfortunate ones that are going to be stuck in the middle of it all. Mm. Uh, it's, I don't think it's helped the players today. That none of them have looked up for it, apart no. from you know possibly like Chaplin. He was a uh, he looked he looked fired up today. Obviously, it's his uh, his old team, so he, you're going to have that. And mm. I think Woodrow's um, put a bit of effort in today, but no, there was just no effort from anybody else. And don't get me started on Mowat. Really, don't get me started on him. <laughs> oh he man! Absolutely. Well, I mean, he got called out in preview with with Dale called Mowat out. Dale's been quite critical of Mowat. I mean, quite rightly, you could say, with his ball holding onto the ball too long, our captain, uh, and it, it's just not working for him, is it? But is it his fault or is it the system? What What do you look at? Um, I just don't think he's the player that he was um, last season. I thought towards the end he seems to sort of like fade, but he he just slows the game down too much. You get a sharp break and he just he slows it down. Yeah. Uh, he, he he passes sideways or backwards. You know, you can count on the on the fingers on one hand of how many forward passes in a game he puts in. Yeah. But the way he slows the game down, it's it just takes all the pace out and any attacking threats and it's. But he just doesn't look up for it for me. He mm. doesn't look up for it. I mean, what, I mean, we said in last week's interview, didn't we? Where's that striker? Where's where's the the players that we needed that we backed for? I mean, it's already Dave Murphy coming out saying um, this about apparently a player turned us down. But why why are we only looking at one one player? So it's clear and obvious you should have multiple targets if one if that does happen. So that don't wash with me what he said. Well, I take as much notice of a Dane Murphy statement as I do a Blobbis Johnson statement. They're both talking for <laughs> me. I just, I no, I'm sorry. I don't believe either of them. And I don't think this club are going to put anything more into this club, uh, any more money into this club this season. Mm. Board. And we're going to be lumped with the players we've got who are not good enough to keep us up. Mm. But they really aren't. And I just don't think the club care. They well, really no. don't. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's but it's but in it. I mean, only three games in, and that this is how we're talking. I've never known a season three games in where we're writing ourselves off this early, but no goals scored again. So and and the performances. I won't mind if there was something, Dave, just a little bit of something to actually give us a glimmer. But there's what no is encouragement. The... There's no encouragement at all. Mm. Take out the Fulham game last season, and we were in the same position we were after. Three games this season, four last season, say. Yeah. We're in exactly the same place. We don't look like scoring. We don't look like getting anything. And we, if we're not going to score, we're not going to get anything more than a point at most. That's it. And, and the, the backing from the board, it's, it's not there. I've, um, I've never been a fan of overseas owners. I just don't think they're in it for the club. They're in it for their own personal gains, their own bank accounts. Mm. Um, they saw what we did last season and survived. They probably think we can do it again. Uh, why, need, why do we need to invest? Um, they they don't care, you know. It's I mean, it's just it's just. It's, it's, I've just said to Andy, it's almost a neglect of the fans and the club, isn't it? It's it's pretty. That's how it care. feels to me. There's there's no communication between them. Mm. Right, you've got Murphy making a statement, but there's no there's no statements from any of the senior members of the board. Mm. Not that I particularly believe anything they say. If they did release a statement, but uh, to me, they don't care. They really mm. don't care. They've seen we escape last season. They think we can do it again. Mm. And if if I say if Gruber goes, it looks like he is going. Then you know that's it's the last nail in the coffin for me. Well, I, I really. Mean, um, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna likely it's either, it's either gonna be Adam Murray in it, which will tick a lot of fans off because it'll be and, and obviously they'll, they've got their excuses ready. Which situation everybody's in. 
But Steve said to me, he didn't say it in his interview, but he said to me, if we go abroad again for a manager, he's that that's going to be it for him. He's going to be. We need to. I mean, he's mentioned a few rules that Paul Cook who's available, but them kind of managers aren't going to want to come here, are they? No, they want yes men. They want yes men. Mm. And this is it was exactly the same at Cardiff. They wanted mm. yes men to fill the to fill the gap, and until they got Warnock, they were they were just languishing, you know, mid table, lower table in the mm. in the championship, and then they were bottom, mm. and then they got they. they he obviously saw that it wasn't working and changed it and got Warnock in. Yeah. You've got to swallow your pride at some point. If you're really serious about the club, you need to swallow your pride and say, look, I'm going to take a seat back. I'm going to let someone who knows what's happening get on with the day to day running the club, get a decent manager in, someone that's well established in the championship, and go from there. Mm. They haven't done that. And to me, that's it's like sticking two fingers up at Barnsley for me. It is. They've got no time for us, and I've got no time for them. Mm. It is. And it's upsetting times, mate. It really is. Uh... So, I don't know what else we can do. I mean, I've asked Andy saying just before we go, will we sign? But will, will anybody come in? No. No. I would be really surprised if we get any additions in the next nine days. I'd be really surprised. Yeah. And even though it's so, so obvious, it's so obvious. See, we said in preview, it were a really good preview actually the other day. I, I enjoyed speaking about it. The players that have come in this season, we haven't seen this Christy Davis yet, fair enough. But Freezer, did we need a player like him? He's did no we... better than Ritz might me, Freezer. He showed me nothing. He showed me ab- he had a couple of good touches today, one or two towards the end of the game. But apart from that, he's done nothing more to impress me than Ritz But he wasn't what we needed, Dave. Worried that, that we needed yeah. a strike, a proper striker. And it's like Craig said, Craig it nailed on Edwin. He says, We're signing all these utility players so that they can play wherever if at like Struber goes, somebody else can come and it's like, oh, we, we could do a right back but but Ritzmeyer can play there because he's, he's utility he can play wherever, this is what we're doing, we're not signing out and out players are we, and it's that's what's ticking me off, we need an out and out striker, a big strong lump up front uh, and, and arguably another midfielder I would have been happy me if we'd have only signed two players this season, I would have accepted that I'd have accepted Lyndon Dykes and I'd have accepted Ben Whiteman from Donny and I'd have, I'd have drawn a line under that and said, right, we, we've gone out, we've got decent targets who we've been linked with for a new an, a long time and we've not bottled it. We've actually tied them down at the football club. But but what have we done? We've, we've not been prepared to go that next step and we've ended up throwing money at multiple signings from overseas and this is a situation we're in. And none of them were players we needed. No, they just seem determined to sign overseas players and put players that aren't established in the English game. Mm. And I, I don't, I don't know the reasoning behind it. I don't know how these spreadsheets are supposed to work. Mm. You know, I use spreadsheets every day in work, and they don't work like this. Trust me. You know, <laughs> if they're not working, they've been using these now for the past two or three years, and it's just done nothing. It, it's it's mm. time for a change. I really thought with the statement after the Brentford game, they were prepared to accept that they'd done. They've gone, they've gone the wrong way about doing things and they were going to put more of an effort and more money into the club and be a bit more sensible this season. But it was just all hollow promises, wasn't it? It was it all hollow I, it promises. Could, it could almost be worse, Dave, this than last season. <laughs> well, um, I'm, the way we played today, I can't see us getting into double points or double figures goal scoring. I really can't because there's, there's just nothing. We just There's nothing there at all for me. No. no not, not in the final third. You know, the, the defence is strong. I'll give them that. The midfield, mm-hmm. hit and miss, but up front, it's, 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 it's clueless. There's, they've, they've got no attacking prowess. Mm. And when they do get into the box, the finishing is dreadful. The ones from mm. Moat and Woodrow today were just players low on confidence. Mm. And, you know, they ain't going to get any confidence the way, the way they're playing. It's, it's something needs to change, but I don't think anything will, sadly. And I think, you know, that's, I think it's inevitable at this early stage. I wouldn't ever write us off this early before, but I can't. Mm. I can't see if they don't get players in the next nine days. No, that's no. it. We're struggling. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. Um, all right, then. Well, I'll let you crack on, mate. Uh, I'll uh, I'll do a few others because uh, some need to get one done now because they've got stuff to do, and then I'll ring back. I'll ring you back in you know, when I'm ready uh, for James if he's still up for doing one. Is that all right? Yeah, no worries. All right, mate. Well, thanks for coming on, and I'll speak to you soon, mate. All right. Cheers, buddy. Take care. See you later, mate. Bye.